as we now have multiple users all working from our Synology NAS, we might start to see duplicate files and folders appearing in the network shares of our NAS. While at first glance you may consider duplicate files and folders as not being an issue, over time they can add to the total running costs for using a NAS on your home network. Not only will you have to add storage capacity to your NAS to accommodate these duplicate files, you will also need to purchase additional storage capacity to back up any duplicate files that you might have. So to get around this issue, Synology have an application that we can install onto our NAS that will locate and allow us to choose which duplicate files we want to delete. First, we need to log into the Station Manager using our administrator's credentials. Now before we get started, we're going to open File Station. You can see that in our public share that we have three files. These three files have been duplicated into this folder. Also please note that before we started this video, we created a network share called System Reports. This is because the application that we will use to identify duplicate files will generate reports which need to be saved in a location on our NAS. As we don't want these reports to be saved in some random location on our NAS, we created the System Reports folder. Now from the DSM's desktop, we first need to open Package Center and locate a package called Storage Analyzer. In order to find the Storage Analyzer package, we can use the provided filters. If we change the category filter from All Packages to Utilities, Storage Analyzer will be listed as one of the utilities that we can install. Let's install Storage Analyzer onto our NAS. As our NAS has multiple volumes, we are asked to choose which destination volume we wish to install this package onto. Once again, we will use the same convention that we used previously when installing packages onto our NAS. In this example, we will install Storage Analyzer into the same volume that we use to install the operating system of our NAS. We will leave Always Install New Packages on this volume in the future unticked, as this will give us more flexibility as to where packages can be installed. Let's select Next, and after reviewing the settings for Storage Analyzer, let's select Apply to install this package. With Storage Analyzer now installed, let's close Package Center. Now from within the main menu, we need to locate the Storage Analyzer icon and select it. When Storage Analyzer opens, we're first asked to provide a location where we will save any reports it generates. Let's select Yes, and next to the Save Reports To field, choose Select. Now from within Select, we need to choose the System Report folder we previously created. When we are returned to the Settings window, if we select OK, we are presented with a wizard that will help us to create our first report. By selecting Next, we start the wizard. First, we need to give our report a name. In the Report Task field, let's try and give the report a descriptive name. You can see that when a report is generated, that report can be emailed. However, as we have not yet enabled email notification, we will leave this field blank. Report Rotation will limit the number of reports that Storage Analyzer will keep in our System Report folder. Let's tick Maximum Number of Reports Kept and use the current default of 100. When we select Next, we are presented with a list of the reports that we can create. By selecting Enable, we remove all of the ticks from all of the different report types. We now need to locate and tick Duplicate File Candidates. After selecting Next, we are asked to generate a report according to a schedule. If we tick the first option, 
generate reports according to a schedule, we can set this report to run either on a daily basis or on a specific day of our choosing. We can also select a specific time when this report should be generated. For our example, because it's unlikely that the creation of duplicate files will be a regular occurrence, we will select the option Generate Report Now and then run this report manually whenever we need to check for duplicate files. Let's select Next. Under Shared Folder, we now need to select which shared folders on our NAS we wish to have checked for duplicate files. Let's start by ticking the box next to Select to tick all of our shares. Now by scrolling down the list of our shared folders, we can remove any shares that we do not wish to include in this report. When we select Next, we are presented with the configuration options. For this example, we will use the default settings, which are Find duplicate files when generating reports, Ignore modified time, and set maximum number of duplicate files to 200. Under File List, we can identify who has been duplicating files on our NAS, which while useful for this example is not necessary. So let's select Next and view the summary. If we are happy with the settings listed in the summary, when we select Apply, our report is automatically run. You can see that next to our report, we have its current status. We now need to wait for the NAS to generate our report. When the report status is marked as successful, by clicking on the chevron to the right of the report, we are presented with the report statistics. In the sidebar, under File, if we select Duplicates, we are presented with a list of all of the duplicate files the report has found. As you can see, duplicate files are grouped together, and each duplicate has its file path displayed to help us decide which file to keep or delete. Let's select this duplicate file, which is saved to our homework, Share. Now if we select the red rubbish bin to the right of the highlighted file, that file can be deleted from our NAS. If we want to delete multiple files, if we select all of the files that we want to delete, and then choose the Action button, a drop-down menu will appear and present us with another Delete option. When we select Delete, all of our selected files will be removed from our NAS. Now that we've tidied up the duplicate files on our NAS, Let's close Storage Analyzer and once again take a look at our network shares. If we open File Station, and then from the sidebar, select Public, you can see that our three original files still remain on our NAS. However, if we open the folder where our duplicate files were saved to, you can see that our duplicate files have now been deleted.